Hello guys, today we're watching Monsters vs. Aliens. And if you're an illegal alien, you're more than welcome to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see our full commentary and lots of exclusive content, you can get access to that over on our Patreon. And also vote to make us watch whatever you want to see. Subscribe so Seth Rogen can become a blob for us. For full transparency, I watched this about two days ago. So <laughs> I think it held up. There's some funny jokes in this movie, but it's extremely stupid. So so you're saying this is the one time we might actually not sh the thing that all of our audience is nostalgic for. But I'm also extremely nostalgic for this one too. Because I, I remember I went to the theater for my birthday to watch this movie. Wow, your parents didn't love you very much. The, the way the the humans look in this movie, like, like, I genuinely don't think you can draw uglier. Oh my god, her eyes are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Her eyes are like, -y 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 yes. Holy shit. Genuinely, she's terrifying. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. Why did they pull Seth Rogen's name up as they panned to the other woman? I thought Seth Rogen played that random woman for a second. What you don't know is that Seth Rogen actually voices every single character in this in this movie. Wow, you look beautiful. You're not supposed to see the wife in her dress before the wedding, you fucking asshole. Do you not know the rules? Oh, that's why she gets turned giant, because he broke the rules. It's a sick twist of fate. Because we're going somewhere better. Better than Paris? Oh, yeah. Where? Fresno. Fresno! <laughs> That's amazing, dude. It's bad luck to see me in my dress. Oh, come on. You know I don't believe in that stuff. He's an atheist. That's why he's evil in this movie, because he's an atheist. By the way, God isn't real. By the way, I don't accept Christ in my heart. The religious themes of Monsters vs. Aliens, the, it digs deeper than you think. Well, because the monsters is the monsters inside of us, and the aliens, what's up above? That's right, God. running the wrong direction the bitch ran into it let's be can we just be honest here if she stayed where she was she would have survived she killed herself i think i just got hit by a meteorite oh susan every bride feels that way on her wedding day <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean bro like there's some there's some like witty dialogue you know what i mean like well it doesn't like rub your face in the joke you know what song this is? This song is called Here Comes the Bride. Do you think gay marriages still play this song? Or wouldn't it be Here Comes the Husband? You're glowing. No, Susan, you're like really glowing. You're green. <laughs> Yo, why is this movie good? This movie is good. A masterpiece, right? What's going on? What's happening here? Yeah, I, I think I can understand why people would maybe be a little converted by this film. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Her dress expands in like the specific way to make it like a dress. My eight-year-old ass was like bricked up in the theater. I'm not going to lie. Yo, editor, can you play the Attack on Titan soundtrack for three seconds as the building crashes down? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Like, the timing is goaded, bro. That was actually great. That's just funny, bro. This movie's funny. That's actually so me when I got the vax, though. Ah! Baby, why just set the alarm? We're on our honeymoon. Like, she became significantly more attractive when she became giant. Shut up. That's just you finding out something about yourself, Core, first of all. And second of all, she was always beautiful. So that's all I'm going to say. I think it's mostly the gray hair, actually. You like old ladies. Like, let's just be honest here. What can I say? I am a bit of a gilf chaser. You're a coffin chaser, bro. You're. Just I'm banned from many nursing homes. Someone in chat just said tall girls greater than, greater than, greater than. No, okay. Tall girls and giants live in two very different worlds, okay? Well, I mean, with your... Hi, what's the difference, Eden? <laughs> Eden's two inches shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> See, you fake laugh, but it is funny. Hello. Look at him, bro. Doesn't he look like a prototype Megamind? Like, the way his head looks in proportion to his body, like... Oh, my God. Here he is. Here he is. Do the funny laugh. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have a back. <laughs> yes. He did the laugh. He yes! did the laugh. Dude, you can compare his voice acting in this movie to the fucking Mario movie. And it's like, who is this the same guy? Wow. Look at you. I know what you're thinking. First day in prison, you want to take down the toughest guy in the yard. This No, this is uh, Bojack. Will Arnett. He's a little predator just like Bojack. I'm in a mental hospital and I'm on medication. It's giving me hallucinations. <laughs> 
that fur looks so like nice actually like i want i want a, like a toy of this guy we are in the presence of the rare female monster no way it's a boy dude this is just the equivalent of a girl walking into like a computer science class and like this is what she has to work with basically <laughs> monsters get back in your cell oh my goodness what is his skincare routine bro that guy is glowing what is this mewing routine someone said general is goaded in the show i didn't know there was a show of this new information i think they make a shitty show out of every movie they make and then no one watches them unless you're five years old he said the show is better those are fighting words that's controversial man this movie's already a masterpiece how do you get better than a masterpiece there will be zero contact with the outside world no tiktok no tumblr and definitely no Twitter. And definitely no threads. Sorry about that. Well, this ship looks like a fucking earthbound creature. It's about to have the craziest theme, though. Like, you're about to fight it, and you're about to have the greatest music ever played. <laughs> dares to wake me this is megamind i just want to let you guys know this is just megamind like a year before megamind came out this was like the beta test they've been trying to make megamind since animated movies existed and they tested it in this movie it's like every single movie they made beforehand was just an experiment for megamind every last drop yes Galaxar. Why did he make his Siri like talk dirty to him? Did you see that? Yes, Galaxar. It's hitting a little too close actually because I just watched her a couple days ago. <laughs> no one knows what it is or where it came from. What it is or where it came from. The voices in this movie are so cartoony. This is a dumb kids movie and we want to be dumb. The president of the United States has arrived and will attempt to make first contact. Here he is, bro. There he is, my man. The president literally just looks like a 3D version of like presidential caricatures. Like the Mad Magazine, dude. Okay, you guys aren't ready for this scene. This scene shook up like the world in 2009 when this came out. For some reason, I thought this scene took place at the end of the movie. Why? I don't remember it being this early. Yeah, I thought I would be waiting way longer for this. No, this is the US government's first resort when it comes to dealing with an alien invader. This is what Trump is gonna have to do next year. Oh my God, the crazy frog, bro. Look at his motions, bro. He's so funky. He's so into it. It's so good. I really like the way this is animated. It's so goofy. <laughs> Look at that shot. It looks so, this guy looks so insane. Can we talk about how, how genuinely biblical that last shot was of them reaching their hands out to each other? Like, Death Note wishes they could recreate the Bible like that. Like, they tried, but Monsters vs. Aliens succeeded. You know what I mean? Death Note crawled so Monsters vs. Aliens could sprint. You know what I'm saying? Light them up! The, the way that this whole military is just standing directly in front of them with all their stuff. It's like I'm playing Total War on my old computer, Windows XP. Let me wait. I like how the Secret Service guys just go back to their neutral pose. I love them. They're they're like so cute. I, I want a little bobblehead of them, you know what I mean? They're bobblehead material. We need raw power. We need monsters versus alien. The name of the movie. Over the last 50 years, I have captured monsters on the rampage. 50 years? How old is this guy? What? Yeah, how old are you? He started at 10, caught his first alien, kind of like Pokemon, you know what I mean? Am I small again? I'm afraid not, my dear. I don't mean to be that guy, but like, why would she want to be small? Sure, like maybe if you're 10 feet tall and you have like some like thing that's like messing up your bones, like that would suck. But if you're like 100 feet tall, like, bro, like you realize how useful you could be towards society? How many impoverished African nations she could provide infrastructure for? And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to save the poor African children. What's wrong with her, man? She literally said that verbatim in the movie. She said, I do not care about poor African children. I remember this scene so vividly because like like a year before this, like I went to San Francisco and I saw it. <laughs> I saw them film this scene in real life. Isn't this wonderful? I haven't been outside in 50 years. It's Wait, he's had Bob for 50 years? That's kind of sad. That's actually really sad. 
Do you realize that that alien, it kind of looks like a minion. So this entire movie is just them beefing with the minions franchise, question mark. Do you think that like Dreamers are really pissed when the minions people stole the character design from them? I can't fight that thing. I can't even, I've never. We need a scene calming her down from her panic attack, okay? They were the first to do it. And no one appreciates Monster vs. Alien. They were the first panic attack to ever be in cinema. I'm gonna turn that oversized tin can into a really, a really dented, dented oversized tin can. tin can. Greatest line in cinema. Why do you have that line memorized? Like, I don't fucking know, man. I'm sorry. Like, I just feel like the fact that that takes up space in your brain somewhere is, it's like concerning. You think I'm fucking happy about it? Oh my god, it's an atrocity. It's from, it's from the Megamind Rules show. I think this looks better than the city in Megamind. Oh, Yo! yes, dude. She's fucked. Okay, this activates something in my brain. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like Sonic. It's like Sonic. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Hey, my name's Sonic. I'm really fast. But he, that's his famous catchphrase. I think this is like how Godzilla fans see like Godzilla. Cause this is like actually fun. Most Godzilla movies are kind of snoreology. Dude, there's a hard drive out there with hours of just Susan moaning. I'm just like, I hate to be that guy, but is this a self-report right now? Yes, I hacked DreamWorks facility. I downloaded all of the Susan moaning files, okay? Yo, dude, what is her row? Like, how much can she row? She is fucking jacked, dude. The back muscles must be insane. They fucking decapitated it, bro. That was hard. Turned that shit into a guillotine. The golden guillotine bridge, bro. It's red, actually. You should go to the fucking city of San Francisco and say, um, actually, you need to rename your bridge. It's actually red. Did you see how strong I was? There probably isn't a jar in this world I can't open. Dude, hitting the gym once feels like, like <laughs> this is your first time at the gym. You're like, dude, I was so fucking strong. I, drew, I lifted a fucking five pound dumbbell. Really? You guys want to meet Derek? Don't let them meet Derek. Bob is going to steal your husband. I called your family to let them know you were coming home. I love how, like, they're just allowed to do whatever they want now. They stop one robot. Like, remember, like, five minutes ago, he's like, sorry, you'll never see them ever again. Yeah, the movie has so much, like, forward progression with the plot. <laughs> Good night, Modesto. Dude, he's f***ing the makeup girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Just wait outside for him, little bro. Wait, 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 wait. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? There was like broken glass all over that. She could have just ripped off his entire head there. She fucking kills him. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. He's peeking the mic. He's literally peeking the mic. That is how much pain he is in right now. You really are big. Yeah, but I'm still me. He doesn't like big girls anymore, bro. He likes them small, dude. He likes them skinny. Well, he's got a micro so this is going to be an extra big problem. Well, he can just swim inside of her. Yeah, get like some diving gear. I'm going in. What, what about the life that we always talked about? Don't you still want that? Of course. I just... I'm just a piece of shit. I'm just a fucking selfish piece of garbage. I am a bad, selfish man. But I'm not looking to get married and spend the rest of my life in someone else's shadow. And you're casting a pretty big shadow. That's, that's deep, bro. That's deep. We need the screenplay analysis for that one. Oh, she's gonna huff gas. Dude, my face when I'm getting divorced and I start huffing gas, like Susan could smoke all the gas station weeds she wants and she won't even get high because she's so big. Does she have like a metabolism equivalent to her size? In this movie, realistically, <laughs> should she be just like constantly eating? We could save every city on the planet and they'd still treat us the same way they've always treated us. Like monsters. I forgot that the end of this movie was like monsters versus monsters because in reality, like there might be fighting the aliens, but like in reality, they're fighting their inner turmoil and their inner problems. And that's the real villain of the movie. Oh, I'm not going to shortchange myself ever again. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this movie, yeah, this movie, it moves at, like, it, it's so fast-paced, but it isn't, like, it takes it time, but, like, there's so much forward momentum in the plot. Oh, bro, the fit, bro? When did she get time for a costume change? Because this is Galaxar's new wife, bro. 
Oh, dude, this stage in the video game is so sick. Like when you get abducted. Fucking love this. That wasn't a video game, Jack. It wasn't a video game. It was real life. That was just his colonoscopy, bro. Someone should open up like the first alien themed colonoscopy clinic. Dude, people's prostate health would skyrocket. I didn't steal anything from you. Your enormous grotesque body. Why is she getting roasted so much in this movie, bro? She does not deserve it. Yo, why is she actually Slay Girl boss right now? Like, people think that Reese Witherspoon's most Slay boss movie was Sweet Home Alabama, but they they underestimate the power of Monster vs. Aliens. I don't mean to be that guy, but isn't it kind of suspicious that he has so many tubes and, like, chambers that are exactly Susan-sized? How many large women has he kidnapped before? Well, those are just where his giant My Little Pony figures go. <laughs> Finally. Do you think aliens, like, got offended at, like, our representation of them? So when you say alien, are you talking about, like, the ones that come from space? I'm talking about the ones from Mexico. How could he say that? It's not like I set him up for the joke. Wow, that is so offensive. That is wowza wowza bobowza offensive. Let's be honest. My new planet, now called Galaxar's planet, begins! <laughs> That was a really good name. Motherfucker called it Galaxar's Planet, dude. Shut the hell up. Once again, a UFO has landed in America. UFO. Can you imagine if like aliens were taking over, destroying our planet, and the headline said UFO? Like, can we take, can we maybe like take this a little bit more serious, guys? It's important to note that most of you will not survive the next 24 hours. Do you think he said that specifically to the French people? Like the the message is actually different everywhere else, but in France he's like, you guys will not live for more than 24 hours. General, it's targeting us. That's the idea, Lieutenant. Hold your course. Dude, I got a piece so bad, man. Run, run, run. Code yellow, bro. Code yellow. I'll time it. Speed run. How long will Eden pee for? Because this is the climax of the movie. Eden is running the piss. He is racing. Eden, it took you 20 minutes to piss. That was insane. Wow. That's exceptionally interesting. Hey, guys, look. <laughs> He's grappling with the consequences of murder. He's smiling now. He liked it. He liked it. These disguises are the bomb. I, I love the sci-fi movie and everything. And it's like, and then just Seth Rogen. I'm waiting for Seth Rogen to show up in Dune 3. Monsters. Monsters? Why does this computer moan to him? Monsters. Monsters. Bro's got the voice control goon, goon, goon cave, bro. There's no control in this goon. O. M. G. <laughs> Why would he say that? That's not something he would say the entire movie. Why would he randomly talk like that? Your busted tired dance moves are no match for my security protocols. What the fuck? What the fuck is this fucking ending? This is actually ridiculous. Ship will self-destruct in T minus five minutes. Awkward. They looked at each other like sitcom characters. Get out of here while you still got the chance. I'm not leaving you guys. Oh, we're sad now. Play the violin. Play the violin. Sad. Bad violin. <laughs> monsters versus aliens made us cry. If you're not crying at that scene, like you're a monster if you're not crying at that scene. Yo, and this is like when she was skating with the cars. Cinematic parallels, bro. Robot Bay has been destroyed. What? The robot bay is still talking though. Can we just talk about that Hanzo snipe she just hit? That was like a, how is she that accurate? That's insane. Now open the doors and let my friends go. Me demanding to get the breast milk from- What did you say about breast milk? I was gonna say me demanding to get the breast milk from the fridge. You worked at Activision Blizzard or something? I did, yeah, I've been fired. That's why I'm, I'm reacting to shit, bro. I got fucking fired. Susan. I wouldn't be so sure. And the name is Ginormica. Ew. She should have named herself Big Fat Pussy. That would be better. Chair. By Hawking's chair. Do you think Hawking had a special wheelchair for the c chair? You're damn fucking right he did. One. Hmm, nothing happened. Maybe my count. Nah, man, the subtitles ruined the joke. One of these days, they need to invent joke subtitles, but like a special subtitle track where it doesn't ruin the joke. <laughs> No way! You see, in the time that they were fighting these aliens, the Shape of Water released. Guillermo del Toro got him some p 
Nasty, bro. Ever since you were a baby, I knew that someday you would, you know, save the Earth from an invasion from outer space. Isn't it crazy? Like, her parents didn't fuck with her, but now that she's famous, her parents fuck with her again. Like, it's actually kind of evil. It's kind of like XX Tentations, mom. She's about to make 5,000 Ginormica albums. I get my dream job, and you get your dream guy. Derek. Th this is the hardest scene in cinema history. Goodbye, Derek. <laughs> Look, I know he was kind of like a bad guy, but he wasn't that bad, right? Like, he probably broke like eight ribs getting flicked by a giant there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy now, Derek, without you. It's over. Oh, there it is. There oh, it is. The there, meme, it is there it the is. Meme, there it is. There it is. Shake the keys at the homeless <laughs> person. There's the meme, bro. Escargetua is slowly making its way to Paris. Why didn't they make another one? Why the fuck didn't they make another one of these movies? I guess the TV show is a sequel. See, I don't want a fucking shitty TV show that looks like shit. I want a fucking awesome movie. Wait, wait, you were dating Derek too? I'm genuinely shocked that the movie called Monsters vs. Aliens is one of the better DreamWorks movies. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's 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 all right. all right. But you know, I would still say like all the trainer dragons are better, Pussy and Boots, like half the Shreks, Kung Fu Panda, you know. It's mid-tier. It's mid-tier. And if you guys want us to watch Monsters vs. Aliens 2, the TV series, coming out soon, coming out now, coming out later, coming out tomorrow, get this video to 20,000 likes. Aromare, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Vento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit Victoria.